What's up guys and welcome back to EBFG TV. I never thought I'd see the day the Seattle Sounders are back in the playoffs after at one point being in the last place in the Western Conference. Brian, yeah. Colton and Brian here from EBFG TV as always. Brian, what are your thoughts on today's match? It was wild. Um, Nerve-wracking. I mean, it was kind of like I predicted. I, mean, was, I was off on the score, but it was you know, a very tight game, defensive. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, both teams pushing for those points. I think RSL only needed a draw to stay mm -hmm. above us. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I mean, they, they clearly were there to play. They were there to win. Um, it's just a great match overall. A little sloppy. Uh, the ref let some things go that I don't think he should have and called some things that I don't think he should have both ways. Mm -hmm. But um, we, they got the job done. And in the end, that's really all that matters. Yeah, it was kind of a weird game. And, and, and I feel like the ref... It, it wasn't necessarily bad favoring one way or the other. No, yeah. It was just kind of inconsistent. The cards he did give were for things that are like, really, is that a card? Especially Eric Freeberg's card. I was kind of, yeah. I mean, it's just kind of professional foul is a term we throw around a lot, but I thought it was yeah. just kind of a professional foul. Not a huge deal. I didn't think it warranted Those a card. Those do get yellowed a lot. Of the they do get yellowed there. a lot, and I do understand, but it's just like, come on, and a defensive hat, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I won't it was complain. A, good, a good foul to it take was. at that it point. Was. It stopped their counter, which it could was. have been dangerous. Yeah, so. so I'm not, I mean, I'm not too mad with the foul, just the fact yeah. that it was given a card. I thought he was inconsistent all day. Um, That's Toledo for you. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was just very strange, a very strange match, but the three points... It's all we needed, yeah. and we got them. Fourth place is... It's insane. I mean, I, last pl when we started this channel, we were in last place in the Western Conference. We, we were singing We Lose Every Week. Yeah, we weren't <laughs> even sniffing the playoffs. Like, it wasn't even an option at that point. It was like, what are we going to do next year? Yeah. And now we're in the MLS Cup playoffs again. And that, uh, for what, that, that little eighth, city to eighth the south straight year? is not. Look, okay, we do have to talk <laughs> about that. You, we have to bring it up. In one week, the Portland Timbers get eliminated from the CONCACAF Champions League. Yeah. Today, not only did they lose the Cascadia Cup, which all they had to do to win it was, was lose 2-0. lose by three goals. They lose 4-1. Yeah. Vancouver wins the Cascadia Cup. Again, Portland's won it like one time, I think, I think since, yeah. since it started. Like once or twice. Not only did that happen, they've also fallen out of the playoffs. So the, the defending MLS Cup champions are out of the playoffs. Feels good. It does feel good. I mean... I'm not saying that's the only reason I'm very happy today. It's not. No, no. But it definitely it makes to it. It definitely sure. makes me a lot happier that when you look at that table, you see above the red line the Seattle Sounders, a team that, that looked horrible, honestly, for yeah. a lot of the season, did not look good. And below that red line, you see the Portland Timbers, and it just it brings a smile to my face. It really does. Especially after the way they kind of kicked us around in Portland twice yeah, yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels and, feels good. And you don't even make the playoffs. Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Turn up. <laughs> um, a huge game coming up this week. We yeah. don't know yet, either Wednesday or Thursday. One of those days, a huge game here at home against, SKC, against Sporting right? Kansas City, a team who's, well, I mean, the last time we played them, it wasn't pretty, and it was no, it wasn't. very hot. Their fans were very quick to gloat yes. about that on yes. Twitter, I yes, noticed. Yes. But um, some of their other fans corrected it right away and said, well, you know, that was before they had Nico. That was back when they had Ziggy. It was back when they were essentially dead in the water. Um, so no, it's it's going to be an interesting matchup for sure. I think we actually we pair up well with them. Mm -hmm. um, the midfield battle is going to be really fun to watch in that one. Benny versus uh, Ozzy, mm -hmm. always fun to watch. Yeah, it's a one game playoff to see who moves on in the MLS Cup playoffs. It's insane that we're here. Like I'm still. I know. I'm just happy enough about that. I'm still just flipping out that we're, that we're even here because as as you just said, it is interesting to look at how much the team has changed since that Sporting Kansas City game in July. Yeah. Nico's here. Schmetzer's in charge. I mean, Ozzy was suspended for that game as well. Yeah. We looked horrible that day. Absolutely horrible. We did. I mean, the team just quit. Yeah. And I think that was the last straw in terms of Ziggy's whole... Uh, we won't go too deep into that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was pretty much the last straw for him from the front office. And now we are in the MLS Cup playoffs. Yes. I, I don't believe it. We're in the MLS Cup playoffs. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it over and over go again until eventually you just get tired of hearing me say that we're in the MLS Cup playoffs. And you know who's not? The Portland Timbers. All right. So you've been very skeptical about Brian Schmetzer and whether or not the I club... I wouldn't say skeptical. Not skeptical, but, but you've been, you haven't been as openly given the job as a lot of people in and around the club have been. Yeah. I still say wait and see. Um, you know, if we tank out immediately, maybe not. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm still probably 90% right now given the job. But, I mean, I still think they should see who's out there. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of good, great coaches losing their jobs probably in the next month or two mm -hmm. from... You know, various European teams around the world, etc., mm -hmm. um, and probably some within MLS. You know, teams that didn't make the playoffs, um, trying to rebuild for next year. So, you know, depends who's available, depends how we do. But um, 
I certainly would not complain one bit if, if we kept Schmetzer on, that's for sure. I'm going to say it once again. The Seattle Sounders are in the MLS Cup playoffs. I'm very excited for Wednesday or Thursday night, whichever it may be. Thank you, as always, for watching EBFG TV. Like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that stuff down below. We will see you for a very exciting MLS Cup edition yes. of the match preview, um, either Tuesday or Wednesday. We don't know yet. But, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.